there, my friends. It's me, Handyman Hal. Hope you're doing absolutely awesome today. Look, we're here at Ozinga Ready Mix Concrete Yard here in Miami, Florida. Oh, and we have an awesome job to do today. We're gonna learn all about concrete, how it's made, and how it's mixed in those amazing trucks. Oh, we even get to go to a really cool job site today. Come on, let's go. Oh, wow, my oh, friends, check this out. Check out this awesome concrete mixing truck. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, of course, every single concrete mixing truck has an awesome mixer on the back. This is the barrel. I know this barrel can hold a lot of concrete. It can hold 10 yards. That's a lot. That's like one yard is three feet by three feet. Oh, by three feet. Oh, that's a lot. That's, a, that's almost 40,000 pounds of concrete. That's a lot. Oh, 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 oh. And of course, this big mixer has to have an awesome motor. Check it out. This is a hydraulic motor that allows this barrel to spin really, 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 really fast. And really slow and it also can go in opposite directions that's really cool then we've got all this hydraulic hoses here that operates everything we got a, a hydraulic gauge there that's cool and all these nozzles it's great and this truck actually comes with its own water tank look this water tank can hold 150 gallons of water it's a lot of water they use it for all kinds of stuff mixing it with the concrete and cleaning things off like the chute in the back they've even got extra chutes right here <laughs> this way we can use these to know exactly where the concrete's gonna go it helps us direct the concrete to certain places at the job site oh and look there's even a water hose here <laughs> clean off all kinds of cool stuff like <laughs> oh wow <laughs> like all our steps here we can clean those off we can clean our chutes off it's awesome. Well, come on, let's go to the back. Some really cool stuff happens back here. Oh, yes. Oh, this is like the magic wand. This is the controller that actually operates the barrel and the concrete on the inside. It's got a really long cord. Yep. That way, we can actually move away from what's happening to keep us safe. Oh, safety first. Check out all these cool controls on here. Well, we can actually make the barrel start spinning. Let's see. Oh, see, look at that. That's great. Oh, okay, let's see. I think we can uh, make it go a little bit faster. Oh, oh, can you hear it? Oh, it's going really fast. Oh, oh that's awesome. And slow it back down oh yeah that's great <laughs> and then we can stop it let's see can hit that button right there oh yes that's great so this controller operates the spin and it also operates the concrete coming out the back and it comes out up top here <laughs> let's check that out we can use this really cool ladder on the side here it's got a really cool latch and it just lowers down just like this. Oh, come on. Let's go up to the top so we can see inside this thing. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Oh, awesome. Hey, 
that's awesome. Ooh, and look, even got a hose up here too. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, that way we can actually clean out up top up here and then the barrel whenever we're all done. Oh, that's great. All right, let's get down, check out the back side of this truck. Oh, all the way down, one step at a time. Oh yeah, gotta put the ladder up. Safety first. All right, let's slash it just like that. Perfect, come on. Look at this. So this is where the concrete actually comes out. Concrete comes out up top, out of the barrel. And then to this, this is called the chute. Oh, check this out. You can press one button. Oh, did you hear that? Oh, look. We can move the chute from side to side. Isn't that really cool? And this part can fold down and we can put the concrete exactly where we need to put it. Oh, that's absolutely awesome. Oh, and look, there's even a hose back here. There's hoses everywhere. Oh, wow. I guess we can use this to clean out the chute when we're done, right? Oh yeah, that's great. Oh, wow, look at this. This is a really cool tool. This is a chute shovel. Oh, yes. You know what we use this for? To actually clean the chutes. Check this out. Oh, let me see if I can put that right there. Oh, yeah, here we go. Check this out. Oh, so oh, we use that chute shovel whenever we're cleaning it out. That way we can get all the concrete out. Oh, just like that. Oh, this is really, really cool. You know, I might need to have one of these in my shop. Oh yeah, all right, let's get this back up. Oh yeah, get it back up there. Ah, there we go. Just like that there. All right, and let's put our shovel back. <laughs> all right in there. Sweet. Oh, and look, we've even got a regular shovel there. I need to use that on the job site. Let's get this back. Let's get this locked. Perfect. Come on. Let's go check out the cab of this truck. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is great. Look, they've even got safety cones. Safety first. Oh, look. It's the fuel tank. Oh, that's great. Looks like a lot of diesel in there. Come on. Let's go get in the cab. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, look. Oh, Zynga. That's the name of the company we're working with today. Come on, let's go. <laughs> look at this. Check out this cab, my friends. Woo. Woo. It's got nice AC in here, too. It's pretty warm outside. But look at all this really cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Got our steering wheel and we've got some horns here. Oh, that's great. And this one. Are you ready? Here we go. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, so let's check out some of these really awesome controls. Well, first off, we have this. And this is almost exactly like the control in the back. We actually can control the drum back here. We can speed it up and slow it down. And we can change its direction in here. Oh, that's great. Now, we've got some really cool monitors, right? This one right here. This one actually tells us exactly where to go, the job that we're going to, and what we need to get. Right. And this screen here actually tells us the RPMs of how fast our barrel is spinning. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh, hey there. <laughs> There's trucks all over the place here. That's great. And then this one actually tells us the weight and the load that we have in our barrel. Oh, that's so awesome. So many cool things in a concrete mixing truck. This is great. Look at that. Oh, can you see the barrel spinning back there? That's great. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, this concrete mixing truck is awesome. I bet it's got a really awesome engine in there. Check out this hood. Oh, wow. And a massive grill and check out these really cool mirrors right here. Oh, let's open this hood and check out this engine. One latch, 
We got another one on this side. Right here, just like that. Oh, this is gonna be great. Here we go. Ah! Wow. Check this out. Oh, that's a massive engine. Oh, well, I guess it's got to be when you're hauling 10 yards of concrete down the road. Check it out. It's really, really cool. Can you feel the wind coming off of it? Oh, that's great. Let's close this hood and go get some concrete. Oh, yeah. so much sand before oh, wow it's a lot of sand maybe maybe at the beach <laughs> have you ever thought about what concrete is made out of oh, it's four main ingredients and yeah one of them is sand <laughs> so we've got sand we've got rocks oh and oh, we've got cement if you look up there there's two big silos that's full of cement and cement is like a real fun powder it acts like glue for the concrete. So we got sand, we've got rocks, we've got cement, and what's the last ingredient? Yeah, that's right, it's water. <laughs> so we've got sand, we've got rocks, we've got cement, and we've got water. And here at Ozinga, they weigh it out, and they put it all in the back of a mixer truck, and they take it to all kinds of different job sites. And when they get there, they let it set, and it gets hard, and it turns to concrete. That's pretty awesome. Right, my friends, we're here behind the scenes in the batch office. And this is my friend, Mr. Mike. How you doing, Handyman How? I'm good, and he is a plant operator here. And he's got the job of working in this amazing office. So tell me, Mr. Mike, what all happens in this office? Well, pretty much this is where the magic happens. Okay. This is where we batch our concrete. Um, you know, pretty much right now we're in the process of loading up a truck, so you came at a great time. Wow, yeah, you see all, can you see all these monitors? Got all kinds of cool stuff. So you can see everything that's happening out up underneath the silos oh, out there. Yeah. We got the oh, eagle eye of everything. Wow. That's great. You see these monitors right there? There's a truck underneath the silo now. Oh, oh, oh. And it's getting loaded, right? Yes, sir. Oh, that's great. So tell me what all of these screens here and all these controls do. All right, so basically this is our batch panel right here. This is where we have all the information of what's getting weighed up. This is our aggregate, which would be our sand and our rock material. Here's our cementitious material. This is what's being weighed up. This, this is the fundamental of what concrete is built on. So it's basically the, the most important part of it, of course. And here's our water. Oh, okay. Here's where our water is getting loaded up now, it gets weighed up. And here's just our moisture, just basically telling us how, how moist our aggregates are. Well, that's awesome. And right now, you know, our material's all weighed up. We're good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and load this truck. That's awesome. You actually weigh up all the material, right? Yes, yes like sir. Like all of the cement, all of the rocks, all of the sand, and the water. You weigh everything and up, the water. and then you load it up into the trucks, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. this is really, really awesome. When you can see right there, no, it's yes, loading sir. it. It's loading it up. Oh, oh, can you see right there? That belt. Uh -huh. You can see it pouring inside of the truck there. That's great. You can see everything from in here. You got a really pretty cool job there, it's Mr. True. Mike. It is truly amazing, uh -huh. sir. Truly this amazing. This is awesome. All right, Mr. Mike, thank you so much for letting us come into your amazing office. Oh, we learned about all kinds of cool stuff here at Ozinga, about all kinds of different materials you use for concrete, cement, oh, the rocks, the sand. It's pretty awesome. Well, come on, let's go see what else we can do. Let's go. Check it out. A truck is pulling up right underneath 
It's a humongous silo full of cement. And this truck driver's got to pull right up under the bottom here. And this big, huge thing up here, that's a platform. It's called the shroud. What it's going to do is going to go lower right above the truck, just like that. And it's going to close up and it's going to fill it up with all of the materials, the cement, the rocks, the sand, and the water. <laughs> and there it goes. Can you see it? Oh, it's filling it up. You can see the conveyor belts. It's riding all the materials up, putting it inside. That's awesome. And check this out. On this side, this is a cement truck. And it's full of all of the cement that goes in the huge silos. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna pump it all the way up there. Oh, that's really cool. Now cement is like a real fun powder mixture. It actually goes inside the mix to make the concrete hard. Oh, it's really, really cool. They'll get almost 12 of these a day. That's a lot of cement. Oh, wow. He's got all the material inside. Now remember, they only measure out and load here. And the truck is actually what mixes it all together. Oh, it's like a big blender. It's blending and mixing all the materials together. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> all right, my friends, come on. We're gonna go up these steps. This is called the slump rack. Oh, it's really cool. This is where you add the water to the mixture in the back of the truck. Oh, it's really, really, really awesome. We've got these really big hoses. Oh, what they have to do first is they have to rinse off all of the concrete mix that was on the truck from loading it. And then they're going to fill the actual truck with the water that they need for the mix. This is cool. the job site oh this is great this is a pretty cool job site we're here actually filling molds for a house oh, that's really cool we see we got the truck backed up it's backed up to this pump right here oh, you can see the concrete already coming out of the chute that's great concrete's coming into the pump right here can you see that oh and it's pumping in these pipes and this hose right here and it's going all the way up to the house and you can see where they're actually filling the walls and the molds with the concrete. Oh, it's absolutely awesome. Oh, you can see our operator here. He's actually using the controller on the back of the truck to actually spin the barrel and to move the chute up and down and left and right and pour out the concrete. That's totally awesome.
I'm here with Mr. Dominic. How are you, sir? Excellent, sir. How are you doing today, Hal? I'm doing great. Mr. Dominic is the safety specialist at Ozinga. Yes, so, sir. How long have you been working with safety? 25 years. That's a long time. So I bet you know a thing or two about safety. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, what can you tell us about the safety at Ozinga? Well, at Ozinga, we got to keep our drivers safe at the plant while they're loading the trucks. Then on the road, when they're driving to the drop to the job site, and then on the job site while we're here, we've got a lot of elements that we got to stay safe and protect ourselves from. Oh, so you got to have some really cool gear, right? Oh yeah. Well, like tell my, me about that. My hard hat. You have a very cool hard hat. All right. My hard hat keeps me uh, cool, keeps my head cool, and stuff from falling on my head keeps me safe. Yep, yep. My safety glasses are gonna keep stuff from coming into my eyes. I like those. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. And I see you got your gloves, so good job on that. Yep, keep my hands safe. If you touch anything, any nails, any lumber, you have to have those on. That's right. And we want to be visible, so you have to wear your vest at all times. That's awesome. Uh, what, what about our feet? Do we have some special oh. boots or things? Very important. If you look around, you're going to have to be walking around rough areas. So if you want to keep your, your feet safe, you have to make sure you have a nice pair of boots on. Oh, don't cool. step on nails, don't twist your ankles, all that good stuff. Oh, that's awesome. Well, it is pretty hot out here too. So what do you, what kind of safety things do you have for that? Well, you gotta stay hydrated and <laughs> you gotta drink a lot of water while you're out here. Well, that's awesome. We're having such an awesome time in this job site. We're staying safe and we're staying hydrated. It's yes, been sir. great. All right, my friends, I'm gonna show you how this actually works. We've got to fill up the pump. For the guys on the wall over there. Nice and easy. Only takes a little bit at a time. So here we go. Gonna hit the start button, let it run for a second, let the concrete come out, and then we're gonna hit the stop button, just like that, and it slows it down. Just gotta make sure that we keep the level right at the top, right? All right, so we can hit stop. There we go. There it comes. Here it comes. Oh, wow. Yep, nice and easy does it. You know? These old Zynga trucks make it so easy just by the click of a button. <laughs> That's great. All right, well, we're all finished. And look, I got my shoe shovel. We gotta clean this thing out. Oh, yeah. Oh, you might wanna watch your feet there. Oh, yeah. This is so cool. Oh, yeah. This is shaped perfectly to get all the concrete out of here. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> all my friends, we're here behind the scenes at Quality Control. And this place looks pretty awesome. Here at Ozinga, they get to test all kinds of different recipes and mixes of concrete. Oh, you know, there's no job too small or too big. And here they have all different kinds, even from like sidewalks that we walk on every day, even to humongous skyscrapers. Oh, it's pretty cool. And all of these are little sample cylinders from all of their job sites that they use. Oh, that's pretty cool and they actually bring them here and they store them here. And of course, they gotta have a really cool way of storing them. They store them in water. <laughs> it's really cool. There's a lot of samples there. And you know, they actually store them in water to keep them from drying out. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Oh, so they actually use these cylinders to test the quality and the strength of each mixture. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And you know what they use to test them out? This right here. This is a hydraulic press. Oh, they take their cylinders and they slide them right on the inside of you. And the press comes down and it tests how strong they are. And then this computer right here gives them all kind of information about how strong these cylinders are. That way they can choose the best material for the right job. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You know, sometimes they may break and sometimes they actually stay really, really, really strong. You know what happens to the broken pieces? Look at this. <laughs> they end up right here in this bin. Look at all of these. 
<laughs> All these broke cylinders. Oh, that's pretty cool. And did you know that concrete is recyclable? They actually can take all these pieces and they can grind them all up and they can make more concrete. That's awesome. Oh, wow. My friends, we've had such an awesome day today. We just got back from the job site and it was amazing. Now we've got to clean our truck and get it ready for tomorrow. Safety first. We got some really cool safety glasses here. Oh yeah. So first thing we got to do is get a cleaner on it. So let me go grab that. <laughs> All right, here we go. What we gotta do is spray our drum. Are we ready? Here we go. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look, you can see the bubbles. <laughs> oh yeah. We have gotta get it on all parts of the drum here. Oh, yep. <laughs> Oh, yep. All the way around to each side. I think we're almost there. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh, that's perfect. Now, we just got to get our brush and brush it off. <laughs> Check out this brush. Oh, it's really long, but I have a really cool idea. Watch this. <laughs> we're going to come back here. And we're gonna hit this button. Oh, wow! Check this out, my friends. Oh, 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 oh. oh we're gonna do it to this right here. <laughs> and we're just gonna let it spin and clean it. Oh, this is great. Oh, that was awesome. Now, we just gotta rinse it off. <laughs> now I got our hose. That one works great. Here we go. Oh, let's rinse off my drum now. Oh yeah. This looks great. Wow. You know my friends? We've had such an awesome day today here at Ozinga. <laughs> we learned so much about concrete mixing trucks and about the material that goes in them. Oh, we had fun on the job sites oh, and even cleaning them. This has been absolutely awesome. Well, looks like that one's all set and ready to go for tomorrow. Thanks for watching Handyman Now. We'll see you later. <laughs> Oh,